Hey, baby, this is Dimex doing what it is that I do each and every week just for you. You know, been on like a big giant hiatus, had a lot of things that went on, you know, my computer broke, my screen, I mean, the system for the channel, the whole station, the studio, everything has changed and turned around and new formats, new things that you got to learn and it's just been a lot of trying to get it together, you know, because when you, you want a, a sale like this, you know, you just gliding along, do, 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 and then boom, there you go. There is something that comes in your way that you got to still try to keep going and make it each and every day. You know, I, I call on my higher power. And, and, and the universe, I'm trying to get back connected. The negative people, the negative energies around me, like, everybody just later. See you later, you know. Still love you, loving my heart, loving my soul for you forever. But I got to leave you alone right now because I got to get my whole universe back in sync. Like, when you, you can feel it. When you're about that peace and, and, and you're going on a certain way in your life, you can tell when things get off track. So for me, things really, I don't even know what's going on right now. So I'm trying to piece all the puzzles together while still walking, still trying to make moves, still trying to do this, still trying to be on my grizzly grind, you know, and, and, and wake up my world because something went haywire here. And that's technology, that's life, that's things that we just going to be going through. You got the new president in. You don't know which way the ball going to swing with him because I'm not one of the one percent with all that money and all happy. Oh, yes, he got us good. You know, I, I'm down here with the little people that, you know, he's going to be messing up. You know, so if I need a new washing machine right now, I'm going to have to get ready to get some money, try to pay more for a washing machine. Maybe I can't afford to get another washing machine that's going to cost more money because he want to. You know, just put some tariffs on people and, you know, just greed. For what? You know, you're messing up a whole industry. The solar panels, people, it's like, wait a minute. That's 230,000 something jobs you get ready to lose. What are you doing? You know, I don't have solar panels, so I don't have that problem. But there's other problems that's coming, that's tinkling. You know, if you are immigrant right now, you don't know. You're scared to go to work. They come into your job. They go into the hospital, get the little girls out the hospital. She's sick, talking about, no, we don't care. What the hell is going on out here? That's what I want to know. And, and tell me something. Why Bill Clinton, right? Bill Clinton had something with Monica Lewinsky, and that was between him and her because she was down with something because she was the one doing what she was doing. And Hillary is his wife. So, you know, that's like a little family thing that, you know, Hillary got over it and she stayed with her man and life went on. But that was ready to impeach him for that. And when Bill was in office, I don't care. People talk about the three strikes. That's why we hate him. Please, if you got two strikes, get your life together. Don't make the other one. Don't give him a reason to give you the third one. So maybe he shouldn't have did that, all right, but he did it. But don't fall into it. You got to blame yourself a little bit for that. Okay, you got to blame yourself a little bit for that if you got caught up in that trap. But when he was in position, life was decent. Money was flowing, economy. When he went to war, the people was waving flags. Oh, we give up. We don't want to play with you. So I don't care what people say. They talk about the Clintons all you want. When they was in office, I was good. Whew. Now, when they came out and uh, Bush came in, oh, I ain't even recovered yet. I have not recovered yet, I tell you. But anyway, we're going to try to get ready to put something together and have some new shows. You know, I have a, um, a show that I did that I supposed to put on, say, from August, I think I did the show. And we are in a whole new year. So this is how long it's taking me in order to even get that show on. And of course, I have a lot of other stuff that just never been seen before that I never aired. But that is a party that I'm going to put on for my girl, Rhonda Rock. She's been very patient, waiting for me to get these brains together because this has been scramble time, you know. So I've still been pushing and, and, and trying to climb, but it, it, it has been a journey. 